Welcome to Style Masterclass, the podcast that teaches women to look stylish and feel confident so that they can show up ready to conquer and slay no matter what size they are. I'm your host, Miss J. You ready? Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Style Masterclass podcast. Today, we're going to talk about effortless style, consistent dressing for high achieving women. And I want to put a little caveat in right away. Effortless doesn't actually mean effortless. It means our effort is intentional and not sporadic. So let's dive into today's topic. Number one, effortless style, that chic woman that you see walking down the street. She has that je ne sais quoi. She seems to glide, to float. Her accessories match. Everything is like, mm, mm, mm. But together she's on point and you are just like magnetized to her. And it just seems so effortless. And you ask her, how do you get ready every morning? How do you pick out outfits? How do you seem so put together all the time? So polished. And she'll tell you something that's like seemingly simple. And you want to stab her, maybe stab yourself and like, oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. (laughs) That wasn't really helpful at all. Because what seems so effortless to her is a series of things that she has practiced over time to create a routine, a system, a style of dress that works specifically uniquely for her. So it seems effortless to her, easy, quick, fast almost, because she has a system. Now, my friends, good news is all you need is a friggin' system. And in fact, that's kind of what we teach in style masterclass is how to create your own system style of dress so that you can get to that place of it feeling and seeming effortless. Now let's talk about some of the components of what might go into that. Number one is planning. Now, I know y'all are busy. You're high achievers, you're smart cookies. Planning, really? That's the secret? Yeah, kind of. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Again, I said this is going to sound seemingly insignificant and kind of trite, but also it helps that our brains have reminders that what we think is so effortless, someone's polish and pizzazz just sort of naturally comes to them, is not natural. We don't come out of the womb knowing how to style and dress ourselves. No, those are skills we learn over time. And often we don't allow ourselves the pleasure of practicing these skills because we have failed to plan ahead. Now, here's what I mean by planning ahead. For some of you, that's going to be an hour and a half of planning and creating a miraculous routine. For some of my clients, it looks like 45 minutes. For some of my clients, it looks like 20 minutes. And for some of my clients, it looks like five minutes. Each of you gets to decide for yourself what time you would like to allot for your planning and for your getting ready. That's number one. Deciding with intention the time you want to allot to this style stuff. Because right now, what a lot of you are doing is you don't have a plan. We don't have a time allotment. And therefore, what happens is it's sort of when I can squeeze it in in the morning. Once I've had my coffee and I've done my journaling and maybe I've done my exercise and I walk the dog and I did the dishes and then I remember, oh, I haven't combed my hair or washed my ass today. And then we decide to get ready. Versus if I did concerted effort for five minutes, what might that look like? If I made a concerted effort for 20 minutes, because that's what I intentionally said, what does that look like? For some of you, 45 minutes, an hour and a half hour, your pleasure, but you have to decide in the planning phase, How much time would I like to allot to this? One of my favorite things to do in the first few weeks of Style Masterclass is to talk to my students about minimum baseline. What's a minimum baseline? What's this one thing that you want to tweak or work on in your getting ready routine this week? We also have the class Getting Ready Like a Boss that dives into that a little bit deeper. So once we figure out what our time allotment is, the next step is to really, really, really define your style. That makes things so much easier. Decide for yourself, not because of what you see in magazines or on BuzzFeed or Reddit threads or Pinterest or Instagram or any of the social media places that are happening right now. Like decide for yourself, what is my signature style? In week four of Style Masterclass, this is our focus. In fact, we just did style statements in the community. And one of the really fun ones was glamorous, edgy. One of my students is glamorously edgy, and she's going to get to explore in her closet what that looks like. 
I had another client. She is confident, sophisticated. And if you met her, it makes so much sense, right? Like each of them has a different signature style and they get to explore what that means and what that looks like. Each of you has that same option. A lot of times what's causing a lot of the rigmarole in the morning, keeping us from having that effortless, put together, polished style is we don't even really know what our style is. We think we know, we maybe fall into these weird categories that have been created over time, but we never stop to explore it for ourselves. And then we don't have time constraints and then there's no plan. And then we're walking around feeling not like ourselves. The third thing is keeping it simple. I think sometimes when we see women that appear effortlessly polished and put together or stylish and sexy, whatever words work for you, what we're actually observing is something very simple. I think we overcomplicate this for each other in a way that has done us all a really grand disservice. There is nothing mystical about clothing. There's nothing magical about clothing. It is fabric that has been creatively stitched together and we call it a shirt or blouse or dress. And this is someone who's a seamstress who loves to sew, who loves creating garments from a pile of fabric. But the magic maker in that equation is me. The magic bringer is me. The animating force is me. And when we give away our power to clothing, Things get all muddled up and then it takes on this mystical quality and we're looking at all these other outside factors to determine if we're allowed to wear something versus this is the time I've allotted to this. I know what I like and what I don't like. And as a result, I'm going to make it really simple for myself to only have on hand what I like and never again. Will I allow something to come into my world that I don't like? We call this auditioning your clothing. Talk about this a lot on different podcasts. Talk about it in my community all the time. In fact, one of my students had a breakthrough the other day that I really want to share with you. She's like, now I'm used to auditioning my clothes. And she has gone out a few times and has gone shopping and is like, just a lot of stuff isn't meeting the audition. I'm like, yeah, you're going to be so much more selective these days. And she's like, and it was so good to just feel empowered. That was a phrase she is powered walking into a store because I have all these choices now and I get to decline. I get to audition. And then she had an encounter with another person. And then she said, I also realized I'm auditioning them. She's in a new environment and It occurred to her, just like she's auditioning the clothing and a lot of it's not going to make the audition because she wants to keep this so much more simple for herself because she knows what her signature style is now. And nothing, nothing that doesn't meet the requirement is ever going to come into her world again. She's starting to think about this with relationships too. She's looking around and she's like, oh, I'm always worried about people auditioning me. Do they like me? But I get to decide, like, do I like them? I'm auditioning them. And it's so cool to see this work go meta in someone's brain in real time. And like, oh, what are the other applications of this? And it's something I love to ask my students, like, where else does this apply? Just like I'm talking to you about you're getting ready and looking polished and it appearing more effortless. A lot of times it's because we haven't allotted a certain time to do something. We haven't defined for ourselves what that thing is. And on top of that, we've failed to keep things simple. We've failed to keep first things first. This is true of our wardrobes, our relationships, how we handle our finances, so many areas of life. So many of you want to improve so many things. What I teach you here on this podcast, what you learn inside of Style Masterclass, and then when you go on to Modern Charm School, is yes, we're going to talk about it in a stylish way. But I always want you to think about meta application. That's what we do. That's how we roll inside of Style Masterclass. So my friends, if you want to appear more effortless, more chic, more put together, more polished, and have it seem like it just sort of happens, I want you to learn to plan ahead to a lot of specific amount of concerted time that you're going to spend on getting ready, on putting yourself together, whatever that looks like for you. Know what you like and what you don't like. And you're the best person to decide that. And keep it simple. Don't add to this all this mysticism. It's clothing. At the end of the day, it's clothing. And you are the magic bringer. 
So as the magic winger, you get to decide what comes in, what comes out, what passes the audition, and what doesn't. So my friends, if you'd like to learn more about working with us inside of Style Masterclass and creating that effortlessly chic, polished, put-together look in less time, I've got you. We actually have a special class coming up. The link is in the show notes so you can join us how to create this effortless, polished, put-together pizzazz all your own. All right, for now, Miss J out. Thank you for listening to today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to judithkatan.com. Click on the Start Here button to get access to my free personal style class. I give you a quick style win, a confidence boost, and you walk away with the tools to start getting stylish. Who doesn't love that? See you there. Miss J out.